hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's Nancy right here again with another video now in this video i'm going to be breaking down the usd card trade it took you know my telegram channel <laughs> technically i did take it in the method trader but uh, i actually posted it on my telegram channel you know the foresight before it actually happened so that uh, people can actually see Let's see the backdrop of how it's up and that basically where is the USD card mute right one of our chat this is what I was looking at now I did remove a lot of my you know horizontal lines on the chart basically to make the chart clean for your understanding but uh, this was basically the setup and I showed it in USD card mute term and uh, it's how to wait till London close to start seeing the setup come to fruition. And the next day, we just tank two days consecutively. Now, that's outside the fact. Let's go to what's happening in price action. Now, before I do anything on this chart, I chose to use the four hour chart simply because it's one of the best time frames to show a swing trade or to typically show a trade that extends more than 100 pips. Okay, so before I put on the fancy stuff I have on my chat, just check out. It was a USD card short, but just check out what was I targeting for and uh, what was my potential entry point simply based off of liquidity. I just try to, to if, uh, dare I say, role play what I was doing. I know you've seen the markup already, you know, on the i posted it on the telegram but uh, just try to figure it out in the chat how it's going on or what was going through my mind uh, i think by now you should be able to do that if you haven't done that please pause the video and try to figure out what i was looking for then play it again so that you get you get a grip of what's gonna go on once i put on the line line tool so right now these are my tools on my chart right now to show the short term trade okay as you can notice it's quite easy okay, it's an high yeah, or there is a high whatever you want to call it <laughs> english is not my first language okay there is and i pretty much back here that you know i was targeting for a photo suit okay so after the high was you know Faded, right? I was targeting it to the downside, which was pretty much what I did. And uh, of course, for first profit target, you want to be taking it as it moves in between lows. If you were entering on a lower time frame, this would have been a reasonable profit target for a first low. This is a second profit target, and this. Or completion before you get another extensive retracement to the upside and we capitalize on other bearish moves as you all guys noticed before i've been very bearish on usd card if you check out my previous trades they were all shorts even from this this was a short on usd card as well the one before that you know this as well a short on usd card so I've been all short USD card since pretty much I started trading this year from February. So let me go to the last time frame so that we we'll see what was actually going on. Now, as you see what I'm talking about, you would have been thinking of taking shorts, right? Let's say you saw this impulsive move down, so this impulsive move down, and you're looking for retracement back into the block which is deep right there and there you'll be thinking of these lows as first as looking for all the lows to take more profit now before we get into this let's let me show you this chart a little bit so that you see you see this high right here is too plain on the one hour chart it pretty much exposes it now i don't want to talk about other stuff that is going on right here those liquidity points that you saw earlier these and that and this potential of the block no i don't want to talk about it yet simply because 
not that they are not important obviously but you cannot be expecting price to take this right now especially for intro day and this happened on a wednesday so you shouldn't be this whole move started on a wednesday so you shouldn't be okay to say okay monday tuesday and wednesday you keep on pushing up and just take this no price up shouldn't be moving in a straight line as you can see from this whole push up you need at least some discount where is the discount going to be triggered from taking this liquidity from here so from this taking this liquidity you're able to trigger some discount move to the other side now i need to repeat you guys already know if you know if you're in my telegram channel you can see the name is echo charts you know go to my channel where i replace your hindsight knowledge with foresight experience okay so if you've done a lot of ICT study and you really want to see stuff before they play out, right? Just head over here and you see them. This was another total soup on USD card as well. So just come over here and you see them play out for before sight, right? You see the before sight setup and the hindsight setup. So it's not you and you're not just looking at examples that have already played out. You can get to leave out this price action from here. And study the price till it gets to this stage of completion. Hope you don't forget what I'm saying. So that out of the way, this price, this whole schematic that you're seeing, took pretty much two days, or we can argue three days or two and a half days. But ideally, you will be thinking because I have this dollar sign here or because there's this other block here price is going to react to it no price will react to what is currently closest and at that point or at this point what was closest based on the four hour was this you know equalize right here and that is what we were targeting take a total so short to the downside now i'm going to go back to the higher time frame before i actually the trade is actually simple just a total soup so short above an, an old high one and two looking for more discount to buy let's assume this is a bullish trend right so in assuming that this is a bullish trend well what, what what do you typically will be looking for you'll be looking for a buy around discount and you can clearly see that this is not discount right Align price to move continuously from here and to the upside it's not discount but we just came to discount to react of something and we're going back to the bullish side although we can still fall into deeper discount but that's not the purpose of this video what i'm just showing you is how i got involved or what made me got involved one looking for a discount if this was a supposedly bullish trend right there should be a discount to go long again Think about it from this stance. Let's say from this origin, this low to this high. Right? Where did we get the retracement? We never sorry. We never got any retracement. Correct. Now, what did we do? We broke higher. So what are we looking for? We shift our range so we can map out the current lows and the current highs currently in play right taking it to this high where is this count this is this count so upon the consolidation at equipoise or equilibrium whatever you want to call it this move down giving us a more buying discount to push to the upside and despite a, another push to the upside you also need a corresponding discount right if we are going to target an air frame level and that's what i got here so it's pretty much typically a counter trend trade i'll show you that when we go to the daily and the weekly so you see even though i've been bearish on usd card since february i've been taking sales i took a couple of sales over here right took a couple more here yeah. right i took one again here yeah. i am typically you know 
aiming for more discounts at this level because this first price swing never really gave a deserving discount. Okay, this it never did. I was still hoping for it to give that discount before pushing for those levels. It seems it's not going to do it. This is the discount, uh, or this is as much discount as I will get. Now let me move to the higher time frame. This is this is quite a part, uh, part a a a part uh, educational content and a part trade breakdown. So upon the daily, right, you can clearly see. Let's assume we didn't have this one, two, three, four, five bars of candles printed. This was price. This was our price closed on the. Oh, this as well. This was our price closed on the. On the previous week, All right? This was our price closed the previous week. So, what well, what are you expecting ordinarily? You are either expecting this high to be met. Is how we see a weekly target to be met or price minimum reacting of the bearish shoulder block. Now you can map out the bearish shoulder block, be like, okay, this is it, right? By expecting this bearish shoulder block to be met or that high to be met, whichever one you were looking at was pretty much that shifts, you know, in different, but uh, that was pretty much what you are looking for at least a reaction at this other block. In time to give you a discount buy for more you know longs as you can clearly see from this level we never got this discount right it didn't hit the other block we just cleared stops and continued moving bullish so that was typically why i was hoping if it doesn't come you know if the if the chart doesn't give you what you want you you take what the chart gives to you so as we opened on monday we we're reaching for the target on Tuesday. We actually met that area, which is the liquidity to resting above this size and the you know the bottom of the bearish shoulder of the bearish shoulder block. So as we hit it, we had to start selling, you know, Wednesday. However, before Wednesday, this bullish price thing, that was actually the candle I called it to get involved in simply because it was the London close and a structure on the daily chart when being implemented on the London close it's very very high probability okay so upon reaching those levels upon 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 reaching those levels, short was primed to be targeting what this old beefy very shadow block. However, on the lower time frame, the other block is not necessary. You don't have to come here and say, okay, we're reaching the other block and we're targeting uh the fifty percent. No, or we're targeting the open. No, no, that's that's not it. That's not how you target it. Target it based on the liquidity points that are on your time frame for entry. Because I'm a short term to a swing trader, my liquidity point was first this low. I'm focusing on the body of the tango of the candles to take profit. And secondly, what now? This extended low. If we are still going to soup it the way we did a couple of you know top points over here. It's, it's, it's a typical so it's a typical it's quite simple you know, it, there's not much about it now let me do a quick review to show you why i feel we switched bullish okay now on the weekly on the weekly we clearly see before i talk about this very shallow block you know these levels that this uh, little void right here and uh, all those price are shown above me. Let me look at the bullish order flow that I'm, you know, anticipating is coming to fruition. Let's say we squeeze our chart, right? Oh, okay, perfect. We squeeze our chart. You can clearly see where we revert now. We've stopped hunted this low. 
again with this week right here. As we've supported it, what's the next step? A reasonable retracement. Now, if you plot your feed, if you plot your feed on this high, the range high, the range low, you can clearly see that we are not, we are nowhere close to equilibrium, equipoise, talkless of going to premium to sell, right? We are still at discount, so we should be buying based on what the weekly time frame is showing us typically. Okay. Now, on the monthly as well, you can clearly see that this is a huge move up, and uh, we are trying to trigger essentially a retracement to some lower levels of discount, which when you plot from this range up to this range, I'm not going to do that right now, but as well you should if you can check it out on your chart to see if this whole consolidation this bullish shoulder block is uh corresponding to what i just said now moving on going back to the daily you can clearly see okay there are stops here to be tagged or approved here to tag however before we tag that should fail react at what now this very short block which is my next target to short from or to soup from typically and where will i be able to do it from a point of discount that is also in the higher time frame because why if you check the weekly this other block most likely still represented you can see it clearly actually reacting off what now this bearish candle that's what this candle is key enough for so don't be surprised the price opens comes a little bit low then start moving to the outside targeting this place and this bearish should block okay uh if you if you study the i see this principle on py nesting you know, if you studied PY nesting or point of, or you know, that call it PY nesting. That's what I personally call it. I don't want to say the actual name that on this course so that you don't. Uh, I don't want you to some copyright claim. But if you study PY nesting, you know, you need to follow from the week monthly to the weekly to the daily and the four hour time frames in terms of PYs to get long or to get short. Now moving on to the daily, back to the daily. This other block was sensitive as I expected. Now, aside me seeing that I needed a discount, what other indication in market structure was I actually keen off of? You can see near term, right? This is a what now? A break in market structure. And this was a stop on sorry. Oh. Then uh, an equivalent, you know, equivalent was sorry. Okay, market structure. To the downside. So I'm not expecting price to come here and react to fall because the weekly is bullish. What I am expecting is simple price at least because this was able to create some stop on and as a bos the mitigation of those sell orders that year should be able to drive me into a reasonable but discount it's that simple okay and oh you know fortunately it worked it did drive me to some reasonable discount that's what i'm targeting now as you can see the previous shorts that i took let me go back to the daily as well. The previous shot that I took was from this level, 24th February, the next kind of 25th February. I took this shot. What was why was I why was I taking this shot? It was inside a, a premium within the range of this very shoulder block. Check it out. Right. So that's it you see the move down 
move back up then it crash down it's just it's just there it's literally it's just there okay now that's pretty much it guys for the new week what am i expecting i will just i will just rely on my forward chart for trading you know because i am i am a swing trader now i am expecting this level to be defended so i'll put a stop here to show that if we validate this level my buyer should be changing right if that stop there what will i do i'll plot my fib again notice on this channel i'm very very heavy on fibs because uh you know i do a lot of ict stuff and use a lot of fibs too so that's typically how i learned why i learned how to do it now back to the chart so i'm going to go to my crosshair and i want to show something if we open the marketplace let me delete this so my chart doesn't get clumsy it has been tagged already this will know where it is and let me delete the position tool as well delete this first i'll leave this if we know that this is discount and we are buying to further you know to find high higher prices where will i be looking for to buy anywhere around this region i'm not saying just buy and use uh and use a what the 156 pip stuff no don't do that what i am saying is that near term or you know as a swing trade i will be expecting price to do this to come off here okay. We react off here, then come it down or for that discount, and maybe maybe closing in this void and reacting of this other block right here. Yeah, so I will be expecting that if it comes down, I will be valued for a buy. If it doesn't, fine. Another scenario that I can, you know, still see play out is we continue buying straight up is that to we continue buying straight up i will break this place i'm looking to short form or this place that i'm looking price to short form so that's not a trade signal i'm not looking to short from here guys i'm just saying what i'm expecting the price i haven't done anything yet. so we break this place and we create extra equal highs with these highs and we'll come back to respect it as a what as a mitigation block for for that upside movement simply because we've already tapped discount so you can see regardless of having this low and this class equal lows we want to reach certain areas on the monthly time frame and to reach there we are looking for near 10 discount which has been offered okay so any bullish move from here will be reasonable either from when price breaks it, any bullish move from there will be reasonable. For price to respect it, crash back down, the bullish move from here. These are typically the two PIs that I'm watching on market open. Okay. Let me delete this. Notice I'm using the body of the candle, even though my stops is at the week. Okay, I always use the body of the candle. That's what contains the most value. Now, on the monthly, what is price reaching for? This will look kind of scary, but uh, this is it regardless. So on the monthly, this is what I feel price is reaching for. Price wants to get to a full on discount before, you know, crashing this triple bottom long term. I feel I'm going to use that word so that but we'll take this as either investment advice because I'm trying my best to not do something to make you lose money. Okay. I feel price wants to come here and take out this relative requires on the monthly at equilibrium and go into deep discount and maybe react of this rejection block. Check it out on the weekly. 
that rejection block is you know coinciding with this other block right here so you get to react there despite the value tree to short okay so that's pretty much it on just the card there's really no no fuss about it so it's quite a slow pair though it's a very slow pair so it if it wants to move it does move if the price action is clean it will move in a direction that has a okay so that'll be all for now and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the content i am posting you know so that it gives me more motivation to post new stuff for you guys okay so that'll be all and uh, i'll leave uh, a link for the telegram channel in the description box or you can just look for echo charts the same thing everywhere okay sorry for now bye bye guys